Most know Milana Weintraub as the AT&T girl, Lily, but the actress is much more than her role in those widely popular commercials. Here's how Milana Weintraub has transformed over the years. To look at Milana Weintraub, it's pretty obvious that the actor is stunning. But what you might not know is that she wasn't born in the United States. In fact, her family had a difficult time trying to get to America when she was just a baby. Weintraub was actually born in the Soviet Union, in Uzbekistan to be exact, and came to the United States as a refugee when she was just a toddler. LA has probably a, a pretty substantial a Uzbek population. Yeah, yeah. Weintraub has been open about her family's struggle to come to America and how grateful she is that they did. In an interview with Elite Daily, Weintraub had this to say, Once here, my parents worked their butts off to give me a good education and upbringing. They did a great job. Additionally, Weintraub has expressed her gratitude to her mother for taking care of her and immigrating to a new country, writing on Instagram, Hey Ma, thanks for lugging my chubby cheeks to America. Obviously, you know Weintraub from her flawless work in the AT&T commercials, but her acting skills extend far beyond the reaches of those advertisements. In fact, Weintraub started appearing in commercials when she was still a young child and has been acting ever since. Of course, Weintraub isn't quite like the other child stars of the early 90s, as she didn't have a recurring role on a popular show like Full House or Shoot to Stardom from her childhood acting. Still, considering she was new to the United States as a little girl, her roles back then are remarkable. According to our IMDb page, Weintraub's first official role was in 1995, when she played Tatiana on three episodes of ER. Weintraub was only eight years old at the time of her TV debut on the popular medical drama. Milana Weintraub might not be a household name, but that isn't to say that the actor hasn't been working hard in the industry for most of her life. Weintraub actually made a reputation for herself when she was young for appearing in dramatic shows, even though she considers herself more of a comedic actor. Just a year after Weintraub's acting career officially took off with her part in ER, she landed another role without even trying. In 1996, Weintraub appeared in three episodes of Days of Our Lives as a young Kristen Blake. When asked about her time on the show, Weintraub told Esquire, I actually don't have tons of memories from it. I played someone in a flashback version. I ended up not auditioning for that. They just called me after they saw me on ER to do that. Though Weintraub had a pretty successful career for someone so young, it wasn't all that easy for her to get where she is today. For the most part, after her roles in ER and Days of Our Lives, Weintraub actually only appeared in a few projects, mostly shorts here and there. And there's a reason why it seems like she practically disappeared from Hollywood for a while. She did. As Weintraub explained to Esquire, she just needed a little break from acting. I stopped around middle school and high school because I remember thinking, I should probably focus on something more realistic. But obviously, Weintraub would find her way back to acting eventually, though it took a few years. Weintraub told Esquire, I went to UC San Diego and I didn't really like the school or anything. Weintraub went on to explain that she ended up enjoying the school's theater program, which, of course, led her back to acting. Weintraub first got her start as AT&T girl Lily Adams in 2013. In case you were wondering just how Weintraub feels about filming AT&T commercials, she's basically had an overall positive experience. Still, Weintraub was pretty honest about how making the commercials wasn't exactly like creating a Sundance film, and the way she described it certainly sounds efficient. In an interview with Pop Sugar, Weintraub said filming the commercials went by pretty quickly. She also didn't have to memorize many lines. Weintraub told Pop Sugar, the AT&T spots were one page of dialogue a day, and often the camera didn't have to move too much on the AT&T spot, so we kind of had a day of just shooting new 30-second spots in every different iteration. Just like Weintraub's career extends far beyond her role as the AT&T girl, so do her passions. Not only is Weintraub talented and funny, but she also has a big heart and cares about helping people. As a refugee herself, it's no wonder that Weintraub is passionate about the Syrian refugee crisis. That said, once she learned about the true extent of the crisis, she did what she could to help. In an interview with Elite Daily, Weintraub explained that after seeing the crisis for herself on a visit to Greece, she decided to take action. Because the country is experiencing not only a huge financial turmoil, but also a giant influx of refugees that they can't support. Weintraub told Elite Daily, I just felt like I couldn't not do something. Can't do nothing so summarizes how it felt for me. 
even if it's just me being there, just me hugging people or changing diapers. I could do that, and maybe it would make a difference in the world. Riding the high of her new, easily recognizable role in the AT&T commercials, it seems that Vintrube was able to book more and more roles. Fortunately for Vintrube, being the AT&T girl didn't typecast her, as she soon was able to work on an exciting project. In 2017, Vintrube landed a role in the series That Moment When, an interactive show from the streaming website Eco. And in an interview with Pop Sugar, Vintrube explained that the series was loads of fun to film. Most of it is scripted, and then we improvise on top. There's always a script, and it was always stellar and totally carried itself. Milana Vintrube may be best known as the AT&T girl. However, her resume is filled with various other impressive projects she's worked on, such as a recurring role on a certain hit TV series. From 2016 to 2017, Vintrube starred in eight episodes of the beloved NBC drama This Is Us. She played Sloane Sandberg, a playwright and love interest for the series' main character, Kevin Pearson. Obviously, This Is Us is a popular series, so Vintrube's role on the show probably made her pretty proud. At this point, it's pretty obvious that Milana Vintrube can't be pigeonholed. The talented actor can apparently go from sweet AT&T salesperson to complex love interest to animated comic book character. In 2018 and 2019, Vintrube starred as Squirrel Girl, in the miniseries Marvel Rising – Initiation, along with the two TV movies, Marvel Rising – Secret Warriors and Marvel Rising – Chasing Ghosts. Squirrel Girl! Let's get noise! <laughs> For comic book fans, Vine Troop's portrayal of Squirrel Girl was a perfect fit, something the actor herself even noticed. During an interview at 2019's WonderCon, Vine Troop had this to say, I'm very like Squirrel Girl, truly. In fact, when I read her, when I read the comics before any of this, I felt like she talks like I talk. And so, as a voice actor, I don't have to do too much to make her more like myself. This is yet another example of how acting has come so naturally to Vine True, even something as difficult as voice acting, since you can't use facial expressions to get your point across. Milana Vine True is obviously gorgeous, but she is so much more than just a pretty face, and that's something she wants to make very clear. Because of comments people online made about Vintrube's body in the AT&T commercials, she took to Instagram Live to explain how the hurtful words affected her mental health. As Deadline reported, Vintrube didn't back down when it came to the comments made about her body, and for her, even positive comments were troubling to hear. Vintrube said in the video, But all of these comments. It hurts my feelings. I'm hurting and it's bringing up, like, a lot of feelings of sexual assault. Vintrube isn't afraid to stick up for herself, and as sad as it is that she needed to at all, it's great that she put those trolls in their place. Though more known as an actress, Milana Vintrube does a lot more than just act. According to her IMDb page, she's also written, produced, and directed. In fact, she's even directed commercials for AT&T. Clearly, Vintrube is a woman of many talents, and Vintrube isn't afraid to brag about those skills. Taking to Twitter, she let her followers know why a certain directorial decision was made in the AT&T commercials. Vintrube wrote on Twitter, Been getting a lot of, why are they placing her body like that in those ads? Well, I direct the ads. I place myself like that. And it's because of the thousands of unwelcome comments I receive about my body. You've lost the privilege of looking at it until I feel safe again. Honestly, Good for Milana Vintrube for continuing to stand up for herself and for directing her own commercials. If that's not impressive, then what is? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.